Can you say, say yes to corruption? Say yes to corruption. Do you actually believe that? No. Have you ever bribed a cop? I... I bribe my... No. But I think in dire circumstances... Say maybe to corruption. But say no. Say no to corruption. Our special programming in conjunction with the fight against corruption begins on the 2nd and ends on the 9th of December. Catch the people who are making a difference in the fight against corruption on BFM 89.9. Good morning, I'm Sherrod Kutun and welcome to BFM's Morning Headlines. Today it's full of floods and a flood of rhetoric coming from the Amno General Assembly. We start with Brita Hariyat. This has got dramatic pictures of the floods that hit five states in the country, uh, resulting in a lot of displacement. Not many deaths yet, uh, and we hope that we keep the numbers low. Now, that's Tuntutan Tigasai of Amno, which means the demands of the three wings of Amno, Juanita, uh, older women, Pamuda, youth, uh, and that includes people uh, up to the age of 40, I believe, but not very young, and Putri, the younger women. And there's some dispute now about whether the age limit of 35 should be raised to 40. So those are the demands. The demands are sometimes come in the form of quotas. Demands, for instance, for 30% for young people to be included on residential committees, or rather residence committees. Uh, these are just suggestions by the party to the government of the day. Of course, AMNO leads the coalition which is in control of the government at the federal level. Uh, the other short story here, it's a, little, it's a little storm in a teacup, but very interesting for those of you interested in Amno um, politics. So this uh, religious leader has refused a nomination to the Amno um, um, Supreme Council. And he's, he has his reasons, but there are people who say that in fact he went against the religion for refusing that offer. Curious debate happening within Amno um, circles on that. Utusan, Malaysia, a more uh, dramatic pictures of floods and again the demands of the three wings of unknown. <laughs> What's often very interesting is the pictures they use, uh, all of them showing determination, Kai with his, with his fist in the air, Sharizat, I'm not quite sure what she's doing there but she's saying no to something, uh, maybe it's another moo moment but uh, here uh, the youth, uh, sorry the Putri wing uh, leader showing her resolve by sticking her finger out in the air. Okay, the sun actually gives Kyrie a lot of play. Uh, he's one of many people who spoke uh, yesterday, but they give him play and that's probably because he has aspirations for higher office within uh, AMNO and, and therefore government. So his views on the recent uh, electricity tariff rates, hikes, are of course of importance. People want to know what's on the mind of the man who might one day be Prime Minister. Um, also interesting in the newspapers, uh, uh, discussion about how the party must project itself to the Rakyat. One of the words I learned today was Poyo, which means, you know, an attitude of kind of like, you know, too smart or too kind of arrogant. And so there's been talk about not being so Poyo. And Poyoisma uh, apparently is a word. Now the New Straits Times again, the floods and uh, the Prime Minister and the Amna General Assembly here looking very, very relaxed. He's a man who is, uh, you know, has the concerns of the Rakyat at heart. This is what the image tries to convey and it's replicated in several newspapers. So, you know, that that was part of the communications department's choice of image to put out. Sina Haryan, uh, again, goes with this story about the religious leader who's refused nomination to the Amno Supreme Council and the Banjir, the flood that is uh, affecting much of the country. Star, pretty much uh, that as well. An important point here that says uh, six bills withdrawn and that's also repeated in today's Malay Mail. The six bills that were supposed to go for a uh, second reading have been withdrawn by the government. Th these include the ones on the criminal procedure code and the controversial detention laws that come along with it. So uh, read that, uh, it's, it's actually of great importance. Um, there you have the Malay Mail going striking out on its own uh, in some regards. Uh, it, it brings a very local story. And Dixon here refers to Dixon Wong, who was murdered uh, in uh, a dark alley in his neighborhood. A, a deep concern to the residents there. They finally found a way of securing the area. And so that's a quite a local story. Uh, Chua Soi Lake from the MCA, you know, a party within the coalition, but perhaps one that is increasingly embattled, and so it doesn't get much play. Uh, finally, Haryan Metro has 
much more of the same kind of human interest story there but a woman with uh, and family just visited by you know tragedy after tragedy and of course the question of the flood so that's pretty much uh, Malaysia today uh, uh, I'm sure I'd on BFM's morning headlines BFM 89.9